Hello everyone! Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Swedish brigade formation. But first off, I'm gonna show you guys my Swedish blue regiment. This is the blue regiment for the 30 years war. It's a veteran regiment. And uh, yeah, let's take a closer look. A quick one. I think I showed this one before. It's the Swedish leather gun. Very unreliable unreli because of the leather. The leather keeping the heat inside the barrel so it might just explode. Not reliable at all. And here we have some musketeers. Painted blue, of course. And some variation. And some pikemen. And Come on, base. The flags are from flags of war. Brilliant flags. And there we go. And as I mentioned in the beginning, the Swedish brigade formation. The Swedish brigade was Gustav Adolfus' formation to counter the enemy formation on the battlefield. It was made out of three to four squadrons, about 1,500 to 2,000 men. It was a diamond-shaped formation to counter the enemy tertiary formation. Let's take a closer look at the Swedish Brigade formation. This is the Swedish Brigade, a four-squadron brigade. The first line was made out of four light cannons. In the center, the left, the right wing of the formation. Three pounder cannons, light cannons for mobility, firing cannonballs that would bounce off the ground like a football on a football field, and bouncing into enemy formations, or firing grape shot at a close range, turning the cannon into a shotgun. Gustav Adolfus' tactic was also to train the basic soldiers to be able to use the cannons. In that way, when the gun crew took casualties, they could just be replaced with ordinary soldiers, keeping the firepower of the guns going all the time. Behind the cannons, the white squares in the pictures, in the center and the left and the right wing of the formation, was pikemen. 216. In the center, behind the pikemen, the blue square was musketeers. 192. The blue squares on the left and the right wing of the formation was musketeers. 192. Behind was a surplus of shot. Musketeers. 48. Ready to reinforce the first line. And at the rear, the last line, ready to replace casualties and a fallback position. On each left and right flank, 144 musketeers. And in the middle, pikemen, 216. A total of 1,776 men. Of course, there were variation of the numbers, but between 1,000 500 to 2,000 men. That was the Swedish Brigade for the 30 Years' War. Swedish Blue Veteran Elite Regiment for the 30 Years' War. Thanks for watching and 
Goodbye.